Did you notice earlier tonight when I said also you have some insects, right away the audience went, ugh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 scariest insects. No, they, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. For this list, we're looking at the most unsettling insects and arachnids found around the world. Which of these insects creeps you out the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, scorpion fly. If you saw a scorpion fly, you might think one of the most irritating insects has bred with one of the scariest arachnids. This winged creature has a tail that resembles a scorpion's intimidating stinger. However, this is less for defense and more for romance. Scorpion flies do not sting. Their tails are actually claspers that the males use for mating. It's not an easy love life, though, as male scorpion flies have to give their female companions the right gift to not be killed. This is typically something like another dead insect for her to feast on. If you find a scorpion fly in your garden, you might be a little taken aback. But like with most insects, you have nothing to fear. Number 19. Brahmin Moth Caterpillar when we think of insects that give us the creeps, we tend to not think of caterpillars. I am a cute little bumblebee! Here I come! That's because we're usually not thinking of the Brahmin moth caterpillar. The larval version of the Brahmin moth, these caterpillars look like they came out of a horror movie. They have barbed tails and protruding appendages on their heads that are useful for camouflaging among branches, safe from predators. These caterpillars might not look like the friendliest insects, but have no fear, they are completely harmless. All they want is to survive and enjoy long and prosperous moth lives. Number 18, Giant Weta. Unless you're from New Zealand, you probably have no idea what a Weta is, much less a giant one. There are actually 11 types of Giant Weta, and some reach a length of about four inches. They look like grasshoppers from another dimension. So it's appropriate that the genus name, Dinocrita, literally translates to terrible grasshopper. Do they jump? Do they fly? No, nope, so they're totally flightless. They've got really good camouflage. Oh, and Weta derives from Wetapunga, which in Maori translates to god of ugly things. Although these creatures are unsettling, they pose no threat, at least not to humans. During mating season, male wettas attract mates by annihilating each other with their huge pinchers. They might not be pretty, but they're definitely powerful. Number 17, Venomous Pus Caterpillar. The Brahmin moth caterpillar looks scary, but is harmless. The Venomous Pus Caterpillar looks friendly, but is extremely dangerous, which you might figure based on its name. These caterpillars have large coats of bristles resembling fur on fluffy animals. But whatever you do, do not touch them. If you do, you'll likely be stung by their spines. See all those little legs? Like suction cups that allows him to move up and down tree trunks and his mouth is on the end of his head. And this isn't mild irritation either. The pain has been described in excruciating terms, from feeling like having a bone broken to causing breathing problems and more. I had never seen him screaming like that before. It broke my heart. Thankfully, pus caterpillars aren't so common that you're likely to encounter one. But if you are stung, act quickly by applying an ice pack and a therapeutic cream. You can look, but you better not touch. Number 16, Carnivorous Amazonian Centipede. You wouldn't expect something with this name to be docile, would you? The carnivorous Amazonian centipede is the biggest centipede in the world, and it also has one of the biggest appetites. This insect grows as long as 14 inches. It also feasts on so many different kinds of animal species, including other insects, reptiles, and birds. Thanks to their potent venom, they can take down the likes of snakes and other creatures bigger than it. While these bites are extremely painful for humans, they usually aren't fatal. Nonetheless, we do not blame you for not planning any trips to the Amazon anytime soon. Number 15, Assassin Bug. While this insect's name is certainly scary, it's actually a bit of a misnomer. Assassin bug bites are very uncomfortable, but they aren't fatal, to humans at least. They stab other insects and animal species with sharp curved beaks and let their venom do the rest of the work. I don't, I don't want him walking on me, that's why I have my gloves on because of that ferocious beak that he has. They don't just go after insects that are directly bothering them either. Assassin bugs are constantly on the move, looking for any and all prey. 
If you're a gardener, this is good news because they stop vegetation enemies like caterpillars and aphids. Keep a good distance if you see an assassin bug, but let them be. They're providing pro bono security for your plants. Watching the assassin bug move is like watching a Shaolin Kung Fu master walking across rice paper. Gentle, silent, careful. Not a single mark, not even the most minute noise. No wonder it's called the assassin bug. Number 14, Goliath beetle. We don't know of any David beetles primed to take on this insect. Oh, is that a prop or is that real? Now that? oh, that's real. That's one of the largest well, that's a toy, in the isn't world. It? That's a Goliath beetle. The genus Goliathus contains five species, and they're all some of the biggest insects on the planet. These hulking black and white beetles live in African countries such as Liberia, Nigeria, and Ghana. They stay safe through their dense exoskeletons and four wings. <laughs> <laughs> they can also fly via a set of hind wings. Other evolutionary advantages include horns on the male beetles, useful for fighting enemies, and the female's heads, which they use for digging holes to lay their eggs in. Thankfully, they don't pose much of a threat to humans, though they can pinch with their mandibles if you get too close. Number 13. Hornets What's the difference between a hornet and a wasp? A hornet is actually a kind of wasp. If you've never faced a hornet's wrath, you're doing something right. These are hornet's things, you know? I run into like, like a lot of like hornets in my line of work and I get stung up like bad all over my face and stuff. These insects are big and bad, with stings that can be fatal, especially for people with allergies. They also tend to be bigger than other wasps, making them even more foreboding. You can identify a hornet's nest by its distinctive football-like shape. Don't want to be stung by a hornet? Leave them alone and they'll do the same for you. Still, it is hard to feel calm in the presence of these insects. Number 12. Praying Mantis Praying mantises are beautiful insects that can be useful at helping rid gardens of invasive insects. However, they are also kind of terrifying, at least in terms of some mating rituals. Up to 28% of mantis mating rituals end with the male's head being devoured by the female. You know what's wonderful about the praying mantis? They devour their mate. <laughs> Your point being? This is said to be more prevalent among mantises raised in captivity than ones in the wild, however. Their hunting skills are also enhanced by their quick reflexes, excellent vision, and ability to turn their heads without moving the rest of their bodies. Their eagerness to chow down on other creatures can have some drawbacks, though. They can end up going after insects and animals that are good for gardens, such as hummingbirds. Number 11. Flesh Flies House flies aren't exactly sanitary insects, but they're downright dainty compared to flesh flies. If that name literally makes your skin crawl, wait till you hear that they like to breed in and dine on feces and rotting substances. Then, when it's time to give birth, they seek out open wounds to leave their maggots. So, if you need another good reason to bandage your cuts and scrapes, here it is. However, if you're in forensics, flesh flies are less disgusting and more useful. Their maggots can help murder investigations determine a time of death. Would forensic flies be a more generous handle? Number 10. Army Ants Even the most experienced soldiers are no match for army ants. I know you will all do your duty. I am proud to send you into battle. Into... I'm, so, I'm sorry, into battle? Dismiss. These insects are ruthless, taking down any creature or plant that gets in their way. This can be devastating for ecosystems. Army ants' ferocious jaws are sharp enough to not only consume humans, but elephants as well. These ants, found in parts of Africa and Asia, display strength in numbers. A single colony can consist of around 20 million army ants. That helps explain why they can end the lives of 100,000 other creatures per day. We have one piece of advice about encountering army ants. Retreat. Number 9. Giant Silkworm Assassin Caterpillar Is this list changing your perception of caterpillars or what? The giant silkworm assassin caterpillar is an incredibly potent creature. Only found in South America, these caterpillars are also known as killer caterpillars and have been named the most venomous caterpillar by Guinness World Records. Like other caterpillars, they have bristles for protection. However, theirs go on an extra level as these bristles are dangerously venomous. 
Once assassin caterpillars evolve into moths, however, this danger is gone. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry if you're ever tempted to handle an unfamiliar insect. Number 8. Tarantula Hawk It's neither a tarantula nor a hawk, but it is plenty scary. These insects are known as spider wasps, and their targets are tarantulas. Specifically, it's the female tarantula hawks who do the hunting. First, they paralyze their victims by stinging them. Then, they bring them back to the nest, where they lay one egg inside their eight-legged captive. The larva hatches soon after and feasts upon the still-living tarantula. If you live in New Mexico, you might be familiar with the tarantula hawk, as it's the state insect. While their stings are very painful, they pose a minimal threat to humans. And if you don't bother tarantula hawks, they won't bother you. Number 7. Titan Beetle As the name implies, these beetles are also a bit on the large side, growing as long as 6.5 inches. Native to South American rainforests, these beetles are incredibly fearsome. Their mandibles are so strong they can break pencils. Don't get on a titan beetle's bad side, as they might bite into your skin to teach you a lesson. I have to handle them with considerable care because those huge mandibles at the front are powerful enough, it's said, to be able to cut straight through a pencil. Titan beetles also warn enemies through hissing and find mates by flying and recognizing pheromones. Is that what they mean by love is in the air? Another fun fact, titan beetle larvae have never been discovered, though it is theorized the larvae consume wood for sustenance. Number 6. Camel Spider This arachnid is also known as a wind scorpion. However, it's not quite a spider and it's not quite a scorpion. It is, however, quite a sight to behold, with its differently sized legs and prominent chalicera, which is its pincer-like jaws. They don't have venom glands, they just rely on the enormous strength and power of those jaws and their incredible speed. This is great for helping them go after their prey, which includes insects like termites as well as other animals, such as rodents and snakes. However, despite their name, they don't, as some myths insist, lay their eggs inside the stomachs of camels. Their name simply comes from their desert habitat. Oh, and they don't have any humps either. All over the legs are enormous, great long sensory hairs, some of them almost as long as the legs themselves. Now, these are used to sense movements in the air. Number 5. Botfly we don't want to gross you out too much, but when it comes to unsettling insects, the botfly is something else. Botflies only have a few offspring over the course of their lives, but they're very careful about where they place them so that those offspring are more likely to survive. The larvae of these nightmare flies feast on the host's body from the inside. How do they get there? One way is by a female botfly laying eggs directly on the host's body. However, they can also take a more convoluted path, laying their eggs in another parasite, such as a mosquito, who then spreads them to unsuspecting hosts. Botfly larvae are ringed with little tiny black spines, and those are there so that if you try to pull it out, it's going to get lodged into place. These hosts can develop a condition known as myosis, which in extreme cases can require surgery to get rid of the flies. Hopefully, you never have any run-ins with botflies. Number 4. Goliath Bird Eater you would be right to assume, based on its name, that this tarantula eats birds. However, these spiders, native to South America, tend not to favor birds for food. They got that reputation because of an 18th century engraving of one consuming a hummingbird. But there's still plenty more that's impressive about the Goliath bird eater. For one, it's the biggest spider in terms of mass. They also have an impressive set of fangs, great for making short work of prey. And if you're an adventurous eater, these spiders are edible, with a taste that's been compared to shrimp. Anyone in the mood for Goliath bird eater and grits? Number 3. Australian Funnelweb Spider Australia is notorious for its creepy crawlers, but this one has to be the scariest. There are 35 different species in the spider family, some of which are venomous, and which have sometimes been fatal to humans. However, progress in anti-venom technology has made a major difference in surviving a funnel web spider bite. You can actually die really quickly if you've got a deep envenomation from a funnel web. 
basically your heart and lungs stop working. The development of immunoglobulin G antivenom in 1981 has essentially curbed deaths from these spiders. But these creatures are still plenty scary regardless. If you're ever hiking through the forest in Australia, be careful about turning over any rocks. The females just remain in their burrows their whole lives, and lots of people would never ever see one. And if anything happens, be sure to seek immediate medical attention. Number 2. Japanese Giant Hornet The Japanese Giant Hornet is a form of Asian Giant Hornet. You might have heard of these insects under a different name, Murder Hornets. That nickname exaggerates the extent of their threat to humans. However, they are still said to kill about 40 people in Japan annually. Everything about this creature screams, run in the other direction. Asian giant hornets are the biggest hornets in the world, and while they are native to Asia, they have been found in parts of North America. The goal is to eradicate it now while the population is presumably small. Their long stingers inject a very painful venom, likened to having a searing hot nail go through your flesh. We're all for new experiences, but we'll pass on this one. One, two, here we go, three. Ah! Oh, this thing stuck in my arm. Oh! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bullet Ant There are many insects bigger than a bullet ant, including other ones on this list. However, these ants are terrifying at any size. And wow, look at that, the stinger is already flying. Found in South and Central American rainforests, they might look like ordinary ants, but their stings distinguish them to a painful degree. This name isn't that much of an exaggeration. Being stung by a bullet ant is said to feel like being shot. How oh, my whole arm is getting really tight. Oh my gosh, Mark, put your arm out here. Just tell them. Feel my forearm. Wow. Dude, it is like rock hard. I think it's spasming up the muscle. Justin O. Schmidt, who created the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, compared it to, quote, walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel for making us even imagine that. This ant is number one with a bullet. It is just extraordinary that an animal of this size has a sting that's powerful enough to incapacitate an animal the size of me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.